continue to plague the Texas Panhandle, East Texans are stepping up to help. KLTV 7's J.D. Conti brings us the testimony of those who went to help and how you can too. There was an entire neighborhood or two that just home after home after home was burnt to the ground. Um, I think a rough estimate was around 200 houses. Battalion Chief Sean Black with the Nacogdoches Fire Department spent 10 days in the Texas Panhandle battling the wildfires that have burned over a million acres across the region. Black went with five other members of his department as part of the Texas Interstate Fire Mutual Aid System, working with firefighters from across the state. Right away, we worked until about three, two or three o'clock in the morning. Um, we got released, then we started over again at, at six in the morning. Now back in East Texas, Black says those in the panhandle need our help with everything, from basic supplies to farm equipment. Things that people are going to need uh, that we may not even think about, um, you know, fencing they got cut or burn the post got burned down or anything like that. The city of Tyler's Recycling Center is just one place in East Texas holding donations for the Panhandle. The city is sending supplies to the city of Borger, with supplies then being distributed throughout the area. The city says they're receiving requests for all kinds of items, but particularly animal food. Deer, goat, and rabbit food was a request we've received. A lot of the animals and wildlife have lost that foliage due to these fires, and so the community out there in the Panhandle wants to make sure that even their wildlife is able to recover. J.D. Conti, KLTV 7 News. And we very much depend on them out there. You can drop off donations until March 18th at the address on your screen. This is the City of Tyler Recycling Center.